The final of the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase will take center stage in day eight of the Doha 2019 IAAF World Championships. Africa is looking forward to winning another gold medal from the water and various event with the reigning champion Conceslas Kipruto from Kenya leading the queue. Here's CGTN's Mohamed Abubakar with more. The men's steeple chase is believed to be the most widely opened finals at the championship here in Doha, considering the individual performance in the 2019 season. A total of eight athletes from Africa across three African countries will be participating in the final on Friday. Sufyan El Bakali, sole representative of North African nation Morocco, he holds the best time this season with eight minutes, 4.82 seconds, rightly becoming a strong favorite in this final. Get Netwale, with the third best time this season, will be one of the three Ethiopians aiming for the podium place as well. Now, Conceslas Kipruto of Kenya, who is the current title holder, has been out of action for a majority of the year due to injury, but his recovery has come at a good time. It has been an unforgettable 2019 so far for the world champion. However, that might change, as he now has a chance to finish this season on a high. He feels fit, healthy and confident defending his title tonight. But the title defense isn't just the target for Kipruto. He plans to marshal his compatriots Benjamin Kigen and the other two Kenyans in this final to leave no podium places for any other country. I know when it comes to the final, we're going to have a stiff competition. That's why I was telling Kigen. I was advising Kigen to keep that energy, like to use it in finals. Because uh, I wish we, like as a Kenyan, we always call uh, the steeple chase is a, is a Kenyan event, when especially to men. And I was uh, thinking, like, if Keegan is going to quit, maybe he's going to lose a lot of energy. So I decided to advise him, like, to keep that energy so that we can team up together when it's coming to the final. Because we need that energy. We need those experience to deal with this glory. Otherwise, when we run without experience, we're going to lose things. Other potential threats for the African athletes will be Kenyan-born Americans Hilary Bohr and Stanley Kebene. Mohamed Abubakar for CGTN at the Khalifa International Stadium in Doha.